slowly make its way up toward the outer banks. And here's the latest on Ophelia at this hour. As of the 2 p.m. advisory, its movement is north-northeast at 7 miles per hour. The winds are up at 85 miles per hour. And there you see it's 40 miles southeast of Wilmington, North Carolina. And as we look at the latest advisories here, uh, of course, uh, hurricane warnings up across uh, the coast, North Carolina, uh, really stretching from Little uh, River Inlet all the way up toward the Virginia border. Keep in mind the sounds are included here. And yes, you know about the rough conditions back over toward the Outer Banks and all, but you have to be careful right up through the rivers, New River, up the Pamlico River and such. You can get those winds blowing across the sounds there, and you can get inland flooding that can be very extensive. Looking northward to the Virginia border up to Newport Comfort over toward Cape Charles Light, we are also looking at the uh, tropical, or I should say the hurricane watches, which mean hurricane uh, conditions are possible within 36 hours. So we're watching this thing slowly climb up the coast over the next 24 hours. Well, not only are we following this hurricane in the studio, we also have live crews out and about. And we take you to North Carolina, to Surf City, North Carolina. Here's our own Mike Bettis. Uh, Mike, what's happening right there? It looks like you're really getting battered. Yeah, significant change in the last couple of hours here, Jeanette. We are really taking the brunt of the northern eye wall of Ophelia. And one of the biggest changes that we've seen is with the Atlantic behind us here are fierce at this point and we're really now starting to get a lot of beach erosion we didn't necessarily think earlier that, that was going to occur because a lot of our winds were basically parallel to the beach or offshore but what's happening now is we're getting closer to high tide which occurs at five o'clock this afternoon and a lot of those waves are coming up even underneath the walkways here and we've seen a lot of wooden stairs just float by here and a lot of the dunes now are starting to give way as well. We had about two to three feet of erosion on those dunes earlier today, and you could double that now. And we've had the strongest winds and the heaviest rain occur right at this point as well. Earlier, we got a little chance to uh, drive around town, notice that we've got some damage to some roofs of a few buildings. Uh, we've got some flooding occurring on some of the streets as well, and a lot of power poles just completely bent over like this, and at any time, it looks like they could go. A lot of the cable and phone lines and electricity is out, and I can feel our, I can feel our walkway here actually breaking apart a little bit as we stand here. I notice that we've lost actually a couple steps uh, just standing here, but nasty conditions for us at this point. Those breakers that used to be 10 to 12 far out are now breaking very close to the beach, so conditions very poor uh, at this point, Janetta. Still just a voluntary evacuation effect, though, for uh, Surf City. They've got the bridge locked down. You can still go over the bridge here, the uh, Surf City uh, swing bridge. So if people want to leave, they certainly are able to do that. The North Topical Beach is uh, closed at this point, so you can't cross that one. But I'll tell you what, this is, this is a nasty storm at this point. We weren't sure we were going to get it this bad, and we're definitely feeling the, the brunt of Ophelia right now, Janetta. All right, thanks so much, Mike Bettis. Stay safe out there. We'll check back with you in just a little while. And it looks like the surf uh, continuing mm -hmm. to come up next couple of hours with uh, high tide. Surf City isn't the only location feeling the effects of Hurricane Ophelia. Meteorologist Jeff Morrow is in Atlantic Beach awaiting Ophelia and reports on conditions in that coastal location on this Wednesday. Here in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, Hurricane Ophelia continues to pummel this area. Again, these are probably some of the strongest sustained winds that we've seen all day today. Consistently up over 30 miles an hour, probably right around tropical storm force, and then gusting up to near 50. I know that the airport here in Moorhead City had a gust right around 50 miles an hour just about an hour or so ago. Now the tide is coming in, and that is pushing a lot of water and even some foam right up to the base of these dunes probably won't be able to stand here too much longer and you would think that just about everything around here with a hurricane approaching would be closed but that's not the case it's business as usual at this convenience store even with Ophelia bearing down on Atlantic Beach we got our locals that need things and there's nobody else open on the island right now uh, food lines closed, torties is closed. We have a lot of locals and construction workers that are still here. And residents are grateful. Well, it's nice for the store to be open. It's helpful. Once you're here, once you make the call and you board up,
but they did take precautions to keep safe. We put the shutters up on the windows, and that's really all we need because, you know, we've got the brick building around us. So how long will they stay open? As long as we got power, we're going to stay open. And uh, if we, even if we lose power, we'll, we got a generator. So if somebody needs something, we can get it. So indeed, they're going to try to stay open as long as they possibly can. And of course, we'll be broadcasting here as long as we possibly can. Again, I wouldn't recommend coming out here. We'll try to show you what it looks like. I wouldn't recommend coming out definitely onto the beach today. Jeff Mauer reporting from Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. All right, thank you, Jeff. We leave you with the latest radar imagery of Hurricane Ophelia.